Hello, good morning from Yorkshire. I am so excited to be up north with my family and I cannot wait to take you with me on our adventures. I'm just gonna put it out there now. <laughs> I can't breathe at the moment. I forgot something very important, which is my inhaler. When I come back to my parents' house, the house is full of animals that I'm allergic to and I forget that I can't breathe. So my lung capacity right now is very limited, so bear with me. Anyway, the reason I'm up here is to take my mum on a staycation to the city of York. Mum's birthday was at the start of January and we sadly got some very, very, very upsetting family news on mum's birthday and mum's birthday plans got cancelled. So I'm hoping to make it up to her and to brighten her birthday month by taking her away today. And we're gonna go to York, we're gonna stay in a beautiful hotel, we're gonna explore the city. And to give you context, I grew up in this house, which is like a 40, 45 minute drive away from York. And I completely took York for granted. It is the most stunning, beautiful, city full of history and just incredible incredible buildings and cafes and independent shops and streets and it's just amazing but because i grew up around here i just never really appreciated how amazing it was i would go there as a teenager to go to top shop and drink starbucks frappuccinos i'd go there as a late teenager to go clubbing and partying but i never really appreciated the historic beautiful architectural side of York. So I'm very excited to go back as an adult, take my mum with me and see York through fresh eyes as somebody who appreciates these sorts of things now. So yeah, I'm gonna take my mum to York today. Dad is dropping us off and I will show you what we get up to. Also today, the day that I'm filming this video is my three year anniversary of my emergency bowel surgery. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can find out all about that on some previous YouTube videos, previous blog posts, Instagram highlights. I've got loads of content about it. But today, the day that I'm filming, is my anniversary of my life-saving surgery. And on this day, I always feel very emotional. I did have a cry this morning. <laughs> but it's just positive emotions. It's pure gratitude, like just pure gratitude for being alive. I think when you get so close to death, it really makes you realise the fragility of life and it just brings me an appreciation. And every single year on my surgery anniversary, I just have a moment of being like, damn, I'm so grateful for modern medicine and I'm so grateful to be alive. So I am determined to make the most of today and have an incredible day with my mum and make lots of memories and um, yeah, make some positive memories to associate with this date. Okay, I've rambled on, let's go to York. <laughs> So here is our hotel, the Grand Hotel in York. Mum's got a little suitcase, you excited? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been to York for two years. So you're very excited? I'm very excited. So we've dropped our bags off, haven't we? Yes. And now we're going to go try and find some brunch. There's yes. a spot that loads of you guys recommended on Instagram called Partisan. So that is stop number one. I hope there's not too big of a queue. <laughs> We've got a table outside, haven't we, Mum? We have, and we're fine with it because we're going to get blankets and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, this menu looks amazing. It does. And they have lots of veggie and plant based options, so very excited. And they serve Monmouth coffee, so it's going to be banging. Got a good feeling yeah. about this. We got moved inside, didn't we? We did, we just smelled dead sweet leaning in with cake and <laughs> right next to the heater. Right next to the heater, <laughs> so life is good. Life's very good. <laughs> What have you gone for, Mum? Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict with bacon. And I have gone for a vegan breakfast spread, which has like beans, tempeh, tofu, potatoes, avocado, bread. It smells amazing. It does. We've had our brunch. We have. Tasty? Very, thank you. Very tasty. We just tried to get on the city walls and, and they were closed. It's frosty, I think that's why. We're going to try and get on at a different entrance, but if we mm. can't, we're just going to walk around and see what we see. But we've just found something that we've never found before. Look at this. this place called Jacob's Well. It's beautiful. Look at the doorway. My head's like, oh, in the way. Oh, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but look at that doorway, guys. Absolutely stunning. So something we've never seen before. Yeah, never Living seen this here. before. No. We'll love it. Love it, love it, love, love it. it. Let's see what else we find. We're just about to cross the River Ouse this and head over lovely. into the main part of York. So this is the River Ouse right here, and that's the Museum Gardens, and that is our next stop. And that, that there yeah. is the old tower, and that is actually a, 
a holiday rental. How cool to stay in You can rent that? Yeah, and you've wow. got the tower, you've got everything, it's got barbecue stuff on the top, amazing. Wow, but that's I expensive. Would love that. Oh, oh, off the picture scale, stupid. And here we go, we're in the museum gardens. We've got all these ruins to have a little explore of. Oh. Have you never been in here before, have you? Yeah. How crazy. Shock. It's beautiful. It is, isn't it? Mm. So I nice. Like a ruin. <laughs> Me too. We love it, really. What a beautiful little courtyard. Mum's brought me here. This is one of her favourite spots. Yeah. Buildings are stunning. I love this coat of arms. What did you say? I love the coat of arms with the unicorn. I like a unicorn. You never grow out of things like that. <laughs> Let's have a look at I it. I love a unicorn. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. And it's in beautiful condition. Oh, it must have been restored. Yeah, it's all been restored, but it's lovely. And here it is, perhaps the most famous site in York. Beautiful York Minster. Mum says this is the largest single pane. Mm. What is it? Oh, I say it's the largest big window. In a minster in Europe. That's I mum's that's mum's it theory, there, but, but it is a very big window. Somewhere. It is <laughs> awfully big. Apparently it's larger than a tennis court. Wow. It's difficult to get the perspective on it, but it's huge. Well thanks for the facts, Mum. This is quintessential York. You've got historic buildings on the right and then the iconic minster ahead. So this is the oldest line of buildings in York. And when were they built, Mum? 1316. 1316. The oldest row in York. Yeah. And they're very cute. They're very cute. Very low. Sam very and low. her dad would bang their heads in there. Oh yeah, I'd be Might knocked get out. Away with it. We're going to go into this little church, which is hidden down the back street. It's just behind those old houses we saw. It's called Holy Trinity Church. And it's just in a little side gate, hidden away. Little gem. And this was Grandma Van Dyke's favourite place to visit when she came to York. So we're going to go in. Just for old time's sake. So this church is so old. Look at these beautiful box pews. It is very, very, very rustic. I love it. Is the word rustic? Historic? Ancient? I don't know what word to use, but. It's just very authentic and beautiful. And here it is, the iconic shambles, and it is rammed, but beautiful. It's time for a little uh, late afternoon, mid-afternoon. A mid-afternoon uh, refuel. Yeah, so we've gone for flapjack and carrot, carrot cake from a local cafe which we've got here which we've got here and we're just sat next to the minster and we're going to sit and enjoy our baked goods you're having a good day mum i am very good thank you yeah yeah it's nice Feeling to see spoiled. you walk. yeah this is this is like my um related birthday gift for mum so i'm footing all the bills and she's been treated <laughs> like a queen yeah <laughs> she keeps getting to the till before me i haven't got a chance to get in there sorry not sorry <laughs> and now we're walking down the side of the river Roos, aren't we? We are. Down towards Clifford's Tower. Yeah. So we'll take you there and show you that. You guys are seeing everything. You've seen all of York today. All of <laughs> we're taking a lot off. And this right here, guys, that is Vodka Revolution. And that is where I used to go to party. Got to Clifford's Tower, but uh, look! It's all in scaffolding, isn't it? It's being done up. It's being done up, but it's fine. This is where that song comes from. Yes, the Grand Old Duke of York. He, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were <laughs> oh, up. Got a mum, and mum. when they were down, they were down. <laughs> and when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Thank you very much. Round of applause right. for Helen Van Dyke. <laughs> so we just got back to our room. It's nice, isn't it? Very, very, very nice. I thought I'd give you guys a little room tour. It'd be quick, quick and easy one. But basically we're staying at the Grand Hotel in York, which I think is five star. It is. It's five star. 
We're being well looked after. We've all we been very well attentive so far. After. So I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a tour. And disclaimer, this is a gifted press stay. But uh, yeah, it's somewhere that wants to stay for a long time because it's basically like the nicest hotel in New York. So yeah. we're excited to be here. So this is our room. As you come in, you've got the bathroom on the right hand side, which is very swish. And mum is very happy because there's a bathtub. You can have a bath, aren't you, mum? Yeah, I am. Yes, she is. And then we have our beds. We've got a twin room. And they gave me a little, what's this called? Embroidered, embroidered bathrobe. ZVD bathrobe. Love that. And over here, we've been really treated, haven't we, mum? We've got some chocolates and candles and wine. Is that champagne? Uh, what is it? Oh, nice. Prosecco. Oh, lovely. Lovely jubbly. It is an absolutely beautiful room, isn't it, mum? Yeah, this room's spot on and it's quiet. It's so nice and quiet. Yeah, it's really quiet. And it's perfectly located right in the centre of York. Yeah. So we are very, very, very happy to be here. Please excuse the fact that I now have my heatless curls in because we're going to be hanging out for a couple of hours, aren't we, Mum? We are. Just decompressing, it's been on our feet all day. I thought I'd pop them in, give my hair a judge. Anyway, I thought I could do a little haul for you. We didn't really buy much today, did we? No, but we weren't on a mission, so... We weren't on a mission to buy, we just no. picked up some necessities. So, Mum got some Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee for Paul, my brother, because he loves this stuff, it's very expensive. And then... She got me, as a little treat, some Betty's chocolate cats, which, are they cat's tongues? What are they? I don't know why they call them cat's tongues, but it's no, very tasty. So I'm having some cat's tongues. I like cats and I like chocolate, so why not? And then, they're from Betty's, by the way. Betty's is iconic. And then I actually picked up two books because, where is my book? Let me show you. This is the book that I'm currently reading, How to Kill Your Family, which I have almost finished and I have a feeling I may finish it today. So I felt like I needed another book to tie me over until I get back to Surrey. And it was buy one, get one half price on Waterstones. So I picked up two. This is a non-fiction book called Breath, The New Science of a Lost Art, which I have heard incredible things about. I think um, Andrew Huberman mentioned this on Huberman Lab. I might be making that up, but I feel like that's why I heard about it. So I'm giving it a go because you guys know I'm obsessed with Huberman Lab. And then this is a very different book to the Breath book. This is called Detransition Baby, and I, again, have heard phenomenal things about this. So, two very different books. I wanted to get a fiction and non-fiction, and I'm very excited to read them both. So, that is the current book stack. So, my heatless curls have done the job. No idea how long they'll last, but they are refreshed and judged. And I've popped back on my outfit. Thought I could do a quick outfit of the day. This jacket is from 12 Stories. I will leave anything that I can link, linked down below. So jacket is 12 stories. The jumper is totem. I got the last one in stock when I ordered it, but it might be back in stock now, you never know. Bag is secondhand from Luxury Promise. And my jeans are the ones that I put in my video two weeks ago. The ones from Height Fashion that are great for tall girls. And then I just have some Nike trainers on. Mum's outfit of the day. Oh gosh. Where's your coat from, Mum? Uh, sea salt. And where's your shirt from? Your printed shirt. Mm. Crew. Oh, crew. And your bag? Fossil? Yes. I know you know you like a fossil the bag. Jeans, not your daughter's jeans. Nice. And are your shoes sketches? Yep. I know you will. Cheers. A little G and T of course. And a mojito. And a mojito for mum. We both have got pasta. Yeah. I've got a veggie one. Mum has got a beef bolognese. Mm -hmm. It looks delicious. So it's time to end the vlog. Have you had a good day, Mum? Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. She thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, I'm saying that for you, but I hope it's the truth. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> okay, good. And we are now just going to head to bed, read our books, and top up our sleep because tomorrow we've got a busy one again, haven't we? Ah, uh, we're packing it in again. Absolutely packed. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit thumbs up, leave a comment down below, click subscribe, give us some love, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.